Crash, Crash Course in Gaming presents an Easter egg. All right, in today's Easter egg, it, we go to the Clastic Caverns right there. Yep, right about there. Uh, just do the mission, uh, find the minecart, and you go right down here, left, and you'll find sand from which game? I don't know, some other game. I've I've never played this game before. Like I'm 12. Like I'm gonna play this game. I'm kidding. I played it. It's Minecraft. All right. It's good to have a melee character that has a sharp-edged weapon. Because you have like my. It's gonna it's gonna it's gonna take a few phase locks to open this thing. All right. And you have more. And you have iridium. And in the purple box, they're called iridium. <coughs> You get skins like this one necromancing skin that I uh, have no space for. Let me drop a gun quickly. Yeah, which one to drop? Maybe this. Yeah, I have a better one. Alright, still no space. <laughs> one. Well, okay. <laughs> On with the digging. <laughs> Gotta collect those. Sand. Yeah. Alright, inside you'll five, five to six creepers. If you shoot them, they have a 50% chance of dropping a skin and a head. So, come here, you little bastard. Just let them blow up. They they dig out everything for you. I don't know, some people say they destroy the things, but that's not seem to be the case. I was trying to look for something that's invisible. But it's not invisible, it's just outside this door, I don't know why. Hello? I tried, I, I thought it was there, it was not. Alright, where you at, creeper? Another creeper! Another one! That's three! That's four! My assumptions are correct, this thing settles out. This is five! It dropped the psycho skin, there we go. Alright, and here's the six, sixth, six. Sixth and final one. Try. Until the big. Uh, Alright, seven. And then the big one comes. I wanna hear you! There we go, the badass creeper. Alright. Now, this one, if you destroy, it has a 25% of dropping a weapon. Well, the first time it didn't drop the weapon, it dropped me the necromancer head. And the psycho skin. So I have the necromancer skin and head, and the psycho skin. Uh, yeah. You can like, this is a farmable boss, like, you, you can just go to main menu, come back, uh, for each and every character you can unlock it within a set character. So if you, like, unlock True Vault Hunter, you can just farm this thing again, or farm it in low level, so you have it on re already unlocked. I'm gonna show you how it looks, so you don't get confused. Yeah, it's nothing special, it's just there. Alright, yeah, it's, it's just there. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I came back to fight them again, and this time it dropped the weapon. On my second try, it dropped the weapon. This weapon is badass. It's it's like a Minecraft gun that explodes like a creeper when it gets thrown. Like, exactly like a creeper. Alright, this is how it looks. Yeah, boy. It's, it's a pretty good weapon when you're facing enemies, or when you're in, when you're in a boss fight. It's because it's easier to use. Yeah, it shoots nine bullets, but it consumes one. Like one bullet equals, equals nine. nine. All, right. All right, we're here at sanctuary, showcasing how it's gonna look. All right, first the head. You know, it's it's the Steve head, but with a psycho twist with the eye patch and one eye, and you know the the common Steve outfit, blue and purple. This is how it looks with just Minecraft gear. Moment of silence for the Minecraft players that accidentally spammed this video. Well, thanks for watching. All right, Sanctuary. Thanks. Subscribe for more if you want more.